What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here and in this video we're gonna be checking out T-Mobile Revel 5G tips and tricks. So we're gonna take a look at a variety of different hidden features about the phone. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to get a battery percentage in the upper right corner. Now to do this you are gonna to need to go over to the settings. So pull down the shade, go to the gear, you're gonna go up to search and you're gonna type battery. Okay and you'll see it right here, battery, and then scroll down and you'll see battery percentage. So make sure that's on, and you'll now see in the upper right corner, we now have the battery percentage. And it doesn't matter where you go throughout the operating system, it will always be there. Now while you're at it, I do recommend taking a closer look at this battery section in the settings. There's some interesting features here as well, such as battery saver. So battery saver mode turns on and restricts some background activity and essentially does give you better battery life. So if you know that you have a long day ahead of you and you know that you also don't have easy access to a power source and your phone's getting low on battery, I would definitely recommend turning on battery saver mode. And then when it's time to recharge the phone, battery saver mode by default will turn off when your phone reaches 90%. Also in this battery section, you can see that there is some information such as the last full charge and the screen usage since that full charge. There's also a battery manager. So the battery manager will detect when apps are draining your battery, which is pretty interesting as well. So there certainly are quite a few features here that will help you get the most battery life out of your T-Mobile Revel 5G. And again, you can see now that we're at the home screen, the percentage is still up there in the corner and it's gonna be there until you decide to turn it off. Now, if you're like me, you're probably constantly taking photos and videos with your smartphone. Now, thankfully, there is a quick way to get to the camera app, and you can get there by double tapping on the power button. And it doesn't matter where you are within the operating system, double tapping on that button will quickly take you over to the camera app. Now, all Android devices give you some sort of animation when going between different screens and also pulling up different apps. Now, sometimes people do prefer to have that animation, but if you do want your device to run a little bit faster, then removing or even mitigating those animations does make a difference. So what you're gonna do is pull down the shade, you're gonna go to the settings, you're gonna go to search, and you're gonna type in animations. And you can see right here, we have remove animations. Now this is under the accessibility section, but once you're here, you just turn on remove animations, and now there's no animations when going throughout the phone. So it certainly does give you the effect that it is running faster. And in general, you will be wasting less time during those actual animations. So it really depends on if you think that's useful to you or not, but I definitely think it's a nice option to have here. Now, if you feel like your T-Mobile Revel 5G seems to be running slower than normal, or you just feel like it needs a refresh, there actually is a quick and easy way to optimize the phone. So you're gonna pull down the shade, you're gonna to go to the settings, and then from here, you're gonna go down to Smart Manager, tap on that, and now it's gonna scan your device for certain things that can be better optimized for better performance. Now, it looks like right now for me, everything is excellent, but if it does pick up any sort of issues or anything like that, it will show up here, and then you can begin those optimizations. You're also able to see which apps auto start, which is helpful. Now, if you're someone that likes to multitask, then I think this next tip will definitely come in handy. And this is how to show two apps at the same time. So for example, if you wanna watch a YouTube video and browse the web simultaneously, you first pull up the YouTube app, then from here, you're gonna to go to the recent apps button. You're then gonna hold down on the logo. And then you'll see right here, there's an option called split screen. So tap on that. It puts that app up at the top. Then we're gonna choose the web browser for the bottom app. And then you can see here, now everything is evenly divided. So we're able to play the video. We can also make some adjustments to give us more space for the web browser and a little bit less space for the video. But you're essentially able to watch videos and then scroll through whatever web page you want at the same time. So that's definitely that you're helpful. And then when you're done with this, you just pull the bar all the way down. Now we do also have picture in picture for YouTube videos, for example, which is awesome. So if you do wanna multitask this way, you do have the ability to go through your phone, go through the operating system, go on whatever app you want, and there will still be a tiny video playing. So one of the interesting features with the T-Mobile Revel 5G is that the power key actually has a light underneath it. That's a pretty interesting feature and something that I have not seen from a smartphone in quite a while. 
Now there are some different ways to customize this and I also wanna explain how it works. So you're gonna pull down the shade, you're gonna to go to the settings, you're going to then go up to search and you're gonna type in back lit and you'll see right here backlit power key. So go there and you'll see by default, the backlit power key is activated for both notifications and the charging light. So when you plug in this phone to charge it, the light under this power button will glow, but also when you have different notifications, it will glow as well. Now, if you're not a fan of that for some reason, you can also disable both of them or just disable one of them. But I am glad though that we do have this hardware feature as it's something that I don't see too often. Now by default with the T-Mobile Revel 5G, the screen does time out pretty quickly. So I wanna show you how to adjust that. So pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to display, go to advanced, and then you'll see right here, screen timeout. So I have it set to 30 minutes because I've been recording a lot of content about this phone, but by default, it is set to 30 seconds. So basically, if you don't use your phone for 30 seconds, the screen will turn off. Now, I think that is a little bit on the annoying side. I mean, if you do want it to be even faster, you can set it to 15 seconds, but I think the sweet spot is one minute or two minutes, but you do have the ability to make some modifications here. Now with the Revel 5G, when you pull down the shade, you do have a lot of these really awesome icons here for quick toggles. You have your Wi-Fi control, Bluetooth, do not disturb, flashlight, auto rotate, all kinds of good stuff here. And there's even more toggles if you swipe over to the right. Now, if you don't like some of these toggles, you do have the ability to remove them. Just tap on the pen here, and then you can edit them by dragging some of them out. So I'm gonna drag NFC out right now, and I'm gonna drop it down here to remove. And then I can add other toggles as well, such as focus mode, reading mode, dark theme, hotspot. So I'm gonna add hotspot and we'll drop it up here. And then you also have the ability to reorder these as well. So that's certainly very convenient. And when you're done with it, you just tap on back and it does save those changes. Now with this device, there are some interesting display options. So pull down the shade, you're gonna go to next vision. And you can see that by default, we have visual enhancement and SDR to HDR activated. You can see right here some info about those two features. There's also a dedicated reading mode as well. So with reading mode, it will optimize the display to make the reading experience as comfortable as an ebook reader. And you can see it certainly does change things up quite a bit with the way it looks. But technically, if you are planning on reading a lot of content, maybe it's an article on a website or an actual ebook, it will look better with this special mode. We can then turn that off. There's also the sunlight display. So that's also enabled by default but it does increase readability under sunlight, but you can turn that off. I don't see an issue with keeping it on though. And then finally, there is an adjustment here for the screen color. So it is set to vivid by default, and we do get adaptive tones enabled by default as well. And then from here, we can set things so it's a little bit cooler or warmer. And then finally, I wanna show you a quick and easy way to take a screenshot with the phone. So to do this, all you have to do is just hold down on the power button, and then on the right side here, we do have a button that says screenshot, tap on that, and it does take a screenshot here. And then from there, you can tap on it, you can edit the screenshot, you can share it, or if you want to, you can just discard it. So that's awesome. But these are my tips and tricks and hidden features about the T-Mobile Revel 5G. I'm definitely a big fan of this phone. I think it's a very solid product being offered by both T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile. And definitely let me know in the comment section below what your favorite features are and any ones that I happen to miss in this video. But I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Kevin and I'll see you in the next video.